It took many years for us to go through the process and really understand firstly that we wanted a child uh, and then finding the surrogate was you know years in itself as well. Um, we did have process in place using Facebook so we went through social media which is um, you know unconventional mm. and uh, Alicia came to the rescue and, and put her hand up and um, became our surrogate after many months of trying and um, yeah we're super grateful. This is a part of the story last night that really moved me Alicia. I, I just I mean it is incredible what what you have done for Mark and Christian and, and baby Francis, but what, what was in it for you? Really, I've just been blown away by all the love near and far, and I think I made a pretty good life choice, really, with what I've done. So how did you get involved in the first place? Um, I met the guys, I was just drawn to their page when I saw it advertised, and I just felt like it was something that I could do, something that was easy enough for me to do, and a gift that I could give that was Never ending, really. Yeah. I mean, you say e easy enough for you to do, but it is a huge sacrifice, isn't it? Uh, I haven't found it too bad. I had a really good pregnancy, and I mean, I've got a new family now, so. Yeah. And Francis is just gorgeous, really. Yeah. What was interesting is some of the, the legal issues around the actual adoption process. So am I right in thinking that at the moment, Leisha, you are the legal guardian of baby Francis, and you have to go through a whole set of hoops before Christian and Mark are officially the parents? Yeah, that's correct. We've been through quite a process, haven't we? Yeah. In and out of the courts um, seven times, I think you counted the other week. So um, it's been quite difficult and quite trying. So everyone at court knows your name, you've got your own <laughs> mugs, all that sort of thing. Yeah. A few jokes about that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so what, why is that? Mark, can you just explain to us what the problem is at the moment in, <coughs> in becoming the official legal guardians of Baby France? Um, I think that the, the laws are too old. The Adoption Act was made in the 50s. Um, so we, Christian and I actually had to get married before we could even adopt Francis, because yeah. legally if we're not married, we can only adopt a, a, a female. Right. So that's just an example. It's just a very old law that um, needs to be fixed. And, and, and as a same-sex couple, uh, adopting a foreign baby was completely impossible as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. So there's no international uh, uh, adoption laws that allow us to be able to do that at the moment. So we can adopt only in New Zealand. And I think the last time we checked, there was about 154 adoptions within the country. Um, so yeah. that was you know, very minimal. Yeah. What, what else would you like to see changed about the adoption and surrogacy laws in New Zealand? Well, we went through a, a quite a strict process with ethics uh, before we were even allowed to start IVF. Now, what that meant is we had counselling sessions, uh, we had legal letters and referrals, etc. Uh, and that took six months and it cost us about $10,000. That there should be enough for us to be able to take the child once he or she is born. Mm. We shouldn't have to then go through another six months at the other end to go through the adoption process. We've done everything that's required. You know, this process has taken us three years in total. Uh, so there's a lot of hoops that we had to jump through and what that's probably one of the the main ones that I'd like to see changed and we've been working with Louisa Wall and a few of the MPs and within our local region as well so uh, I know there's a draft bill that Louise has been working on yeah. that we are really keen to push and get as much support as possible to make those changes. Because I think anyone who watched the story last night would see that you are both clearly in a stable relationship you, you are loving parents but you still have to go through all of these hoops in 2018 um, to, to, to be able to become the legal guardians of a child. It, it's, it's difficult. Do you think there are a lot of same-sex couples in your position? I do, yeah. We've had so many messages of support, both on Facebook and on our Instagram page, and people just, they love what we're mm. doing. They, they love that we're sort of um, clearing the way for them to be able to, to have children in the future. And you know, we're removing the barriers, not only cost, but also uh, you know, whether it be two names on a birth certificate, two fathers on a birth certificate, uh, or you know, finding a surrogate. There's so many different options and avenues out there now for same-sex couples, but also for other couples that want to have a child themselves and can't. Um, this was the whole reason that we actually went out um, with Sunday to talk about our story mm. was because um, it's not just us that struggles having a baby. There's a lot of people uh, in New Zealand and in the world that actually struggle to have kids, whether they're single or mm. um, have issues themselves. And you know, there's a stigma attached to it that we want we want sort of yeah. um, removed. abolished or removed. Yeah. yeah. Alicia, I know you have two, two children. Uh, how has it been for you over these six weeks from an emotional perspective? It, I can only imagine it would be quite a difficult thing to have been pregnant and then to see people who, who might be your friends with that child. How's that been? Yeah, I think I'm just really lucky that um, I'm a part of the guy's life and they've included me and allowed me to continue a relationship with Francis. Yeah. And I've had my own kids at home to go home to and 
cuddle and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I guess maintaining that relationship from you guys, from everyone who has been involved, is really important, Christian. Oh, 100%. Yeah, we absolutely um, love Alicia and, and you know appreciate everything she's done for us. But we think it's super important that Francis grows up knowing that the full story. You know, he's got two mums and he's got two dads, and that's a modern family. And I know that there's other people that don't think that that should be something that happens. But um, you know, that's that's sort of bigotry in certain people's mind. Uh, and love is love. You know, love will triumph, and Francis will be. Um, wonderfully happy and, and he'll grow up in a, a very um, happy and, and loving family, yeah. wider family.